technology rollout process structures for nationwide and international multi-site projects. Presented by Concert Technologies. This video will examine the first part of the technology rollout system, the process structure. It will provide criteria for evaluating the process structures used in the industry in order for you to choose the right structure for your nationwide or international technology project. Subsequent parts of the technology rollout system are detailed in additional videos in our series. The process structure defines the management facilitation of multi-site nationwide and international projects. As you will see, it determines the interaction and communication flow between the technology rollout company and their customer, as well as between the technology rollout company and their local field resources. The following information is based on a technology rollout company's management and technical support of on-site field technicians, which includes the dissemination of requirements and relay of technical knowledge for multi-site, multi-service technology rollouts. There are five primary process structures used for nationwide and international technology rollouts. Four are illustrated here, with the fifth being a hybrid structure. The hybrid structure may contain various parts of these four structures and will have its own advantages and disadvantages dependent on its configuration. Each process structure is evaluated in terms of communication speed and accuracy, speed of payment, labor costs, manpower redundancy, and overall accountability of the rollout. In the first process structure, centralized single tier, the customer uses a technology rollout company that directly manages field technicians through a direct partnership. This allows for maximized streamline communication flow and payment speed due to fewer channels of communication through which to travel. Additionally, labor costs are minimized since there are the fewest number of entities to pay. Manpower redundancy and overall project accountability are high because the technology rollout company provides complete management and support of the local field resources used for rollout services at each location. The centralized multi-tier process structure is employed when the customer uses a technology rollout company that hires subcontractors in a tiered hierarchy to manage field technicians. Compared to the centralized single tier, this process structure has low communication speed and accuracy, as well as low payment speed because it has more channels through which to travel. Additionally, labor costs are high due to the increased number of entities that must be paid. Subsequently, overall project accountability is low because the technology rollout company does not provide direct management and support of the local field resources. In the rent -to tech process structure, the customer or technology rollout company uses a rent-a-tech company in a shared management effort of field technicians. An example of this process structure is an online database of technicians in which the customer or technology rollout company may be charged an access fee to acquire contact information for technicians. On the other side, the technicians may be charged a listing or job fee by the rent-a-tech company. While labor costs are typically low in this structure, a key disadvantage is a low level of manpower redundancy because if a technician does not show up, the customer or technology rollout company must return to the rent -to tech company for another technician. This can cause costly delays and missed deadlines. Another downside is that the overall accountability of the project is low due to shared management levels between the technology rollout company and the rent -to tech company. When utilizing the internal employee process structure, the customer or technology rollout company uses internal employees for project management and field technicians. In internal employee process structures, additional external local field technicians are likely to be required due to the number of sites, distance to each location, and costs associated with employing sufficient internal field technicians to provide nationwide or global rollout services. Thus, you can have high labor costs due to overhead and non-productive time associated with employing internal local field technicians. Additionally, there is a medium level of communication speed and accuracy since often either duplicate or altogether separate processes are required for both internal and external communications. In conclusion, it is important to first determine if the technology rollout company utilizes a defined technology rollout system for deployment of projects. Then, you should examine the technology rollout company's process structure in addition to parts 2, 3, and 4 in order to decide if it is the right fit for your project. Please see our additional videos for explanations of the other parts of the technology rollout system. For more videos about the technology rollout system of methodologies and nationwide and international technology rollouts, visit us online at 
www.concerttech.com. Select Video Library under the Resources tab.